We're given this inequality. I'm going to expand both the left and right hand side. So on the left hand side, 15 plus 30x. This is bigger equal to on the right hand side, 19x minus 2x squared. Shifting everything back to the left hand side, minus 2x squared, we will have a 2x squared. 30x minus 19x is plus 11x, then plus 15. This is bigger or equal to 0. Further factorizing this, we will have a x plus 3 and a 2x plus 5. This is bigger or equal to 0. Sketching a graph that represents y is equal to the left hand side, we will have a parabola that is of a smaller face. With respect to the x axis, it will have two roots. One will be this minus 3, the other one will be minus 5 over 2. We are looking for the y coordinates that are bigger or equal to 0, and that means that x must be either less than minus 3 or x must be bigger than minus 5 over 2. So this will give us the answers for this inequality x is going to be less than or equal to minus 3, or x is going to be bigger or equal to minus 5 over 2. And the question actually wants us to present the answer on the number line. So let me just sketch this on the number line. So on my number line for x, we will have two numbers. One will be minus 3. The other one is going to be minus 5 over 2. It is less than or equal to minus 3. So we have an arrow here with a solid dot here. It is bigger or equal to minus 5 over 2. So a solid dot here and an arrow to the right. We have to sketch the two graphs and I've done it here. Please take note that for this graph, there's going to be a horizontal asymptote y is equal to 0 and there's a vertical asymptote x is equal to 0. As for this graph here, it is starting from 0 because according to the question, x is supposed to be strictly bigger than 0. For the x-coordinate of the intersections between the two graphs, I can solve this algebraically by doing a simultaneous equation. So for the x-coordinate, which is actually the coordinate of this point, the x-coordinate of this point, I'm going to let 3x to the power of 1 over 3 be equal to 1 over 3x to the power of minus 3. So we have uh, x to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to, if I were to divide this across the other side, 1 over 9, and this is 1 over x to the power of 3. So multiplying this now across to the other side, we have x to the power of 1 over 3, and x to the power of 3, this is equal to 1 over 9. It will be x to the power of 1 third plus 3. It is going to be 10 over 3. This is equal to 1 over 9. And if I were to take this and I cube it. So on the left hand side here, we will have x to the power of 10. And on the right hand side, it is 1 over 7 to 9, which is what the question 1 wants to show.